Preparation and Characterization of Irradiated Peanut Bean Ink for Consumer Product Hi all, my name is Nora Aisha Hafizan Binti Sabturo. Today, I will present about my idea about the title that I have titled before. So, let's start. Hmm, Ink from Peanut There were two types of ink that present into the industries, which is the petroleum-based ink and vegetable-based ink. However, it is not favorable choice to apply the petroleum-based ink in our daily life since it contains a higher level of volatile organic compounds VOC. This group of carbon involved in the atmospheric photochemical reaction that contributes to the warming of Earth. There were about 3 million tons use of hydrocarbon-based ink and chemical through the year that contain greater level of VOC. It is well recorded in the offset printing from the Euro European Commission. This condition were remarkably this condition were remarkably can cause side effects to the workers if they were continuously exposed to it. Amusingly, vegetable-based ink has been one of the best creation for the development of ink in the world. It brings a lot of advantages to the human being in generating a safe and conducive environment. Since vegetable-based ink were an eco-friendly ink, this type of ink is classified as one factor in green printing. The ink's composition in the vegetable-based ink has a lot of usefulness in it. The qualities of vegetable-based ink is better compared to petroleum-based ink when it is being tested for offset printing. The oil from the vegetable ink is conveniently being cultivated and can be collected and refined easily. The most popular ink based on the vegetable oil is from soybean. The oil is luminous which provided more striking color apart from the petroleum-based oil. Nonetheless, we would like to expand the competence of this type of ink through the uses of peanut oil in creating an eco-friendly ink. So, the objective of this research is to study about the suitability of peanut oil in order to make another type of vegetable-based ink from the beans family. The aim can be achieved through the following objective where we want to study the physical and chemical properties of beans and investigate the effect of peanut oil during the pre- and post-condition after irradiation. Literature review. This paper is a journal wrote by Barrett M. Prudence H.H. in 2016, Asset Erhan M.O. Back B.H.W. Cunningham 1 in 1992, and Mahfoud Al Bashir in 2015 as a guide to achieve the objective stated. Vegetable Best Ink. The compositions of ink consist of three important units which are colorants such as dye or pigments to give it the colors and additive that works to increase the abilities of the ink such as resin and a carrier which differ this type of ink with the petroleum based ink. The most applied oil in this type of ink are flax, safe flour and soil from the bamboo ink in 2018. Yet, each oil produced contributed to various advantages such as soybean oil. It has luminous properties which provided more striking colors apart from the petroleum based oil. As for that, we would like to test the suitability of peanut oil for the production of eco friendly ink. Second, elemental composition of peanut oil. The peanut oil is one of the most necessary substances in the making of inks. The oil were classified in a group of fat which can be collected from the sum of nuts, fruits and seeds. Peanut oil are comprised of triglyceride DHEs which is about 95% of including its minor part of mono and diglyceride that commonly has lesser than 5% of the compounds, sterol, which up to 1%, fat-soluble vitamin, pigments, waxes, and phosphatides. The rock oil contains at most 2% of the minor parts. Interestingly, the minor parts of this oil has pigment, which produce color. Physical and Chemical Properties of Peanut Beans The research about this study has been done in 2016 by Marcio de Beers and Sandra Helena Prudencio where they discovered the properties of beans that were popular in region of Brazil. There were seven kinds of bean used which were Saragora, Jurity, Perola, IAPAR31 and IAPAR81, Carioccora, 
and Colibri. The researcher applied air tests in order to gain the chemical and physical properties of the beans. The beans were tested based on their sizes which then concluded that the average sizes is small, is small through their weight. They also evaluated the colors of the bean according to the color parameter. They measured the bean hardness using TAXD2 texture analyzer in the units of newtons. Then, the robins undergo a water absorption test when it is on a maceration process. It is also tested through the cooking time needed and bean integrity when under heating treatment. They tested the mineral content inside the beans by using the digestion of raw beans with a chemical solution consists of nitric perchloric acid. To get to know about the bean moisture, lipid and protein. They undergo the proximate composition to determine the total carbohydrate of each bean for a 100 grams of sample. The researcher concluded that Sarakura, which is the one that have high mineral content, is the best bean recommended for the processing works in the industry. This valuable result can show the suitability of oil from the peanut as an important material in the making of bean. This is due to the fact that peanut contain higher level of mineral content too from Healthy Woman in 2011. Irradiation of peanut oil by gamma rays Based on the research done by Mahfoud al-Bashir in 2015 about the quality characteristic of oil extracted from gamma irradiated, irradiated peanut, he committed to determine the effect of the irradiation to the oil collected from the peanut. He placed the non-radiated and radiated samples in a room temperature for about one year under a, a relative humidity. Then, the properties of both samples were analyzed after being put for 12 months. The characteristic of oil under a physiochemical test were done in about three types of measurement which were the fatty acid determination using GC17A Shimazu chromatograph, chemical analysis and color measurement by using FSPEC spectrometer version 1. When he analyzed the data, he stated that the radiated sample of peanut oil after being stored for 12 months is lower and has higher amount of fatty acid which show that the oil is highly nutrient compared to the irradiated one. The thiobarbituric acid relative substances TBARS of the samples were analyzed and showed the result of both samples. After being tested, both shows an increasing value of TBARS. He also tested the effect of irradiation and storage time to the colors of the oil which show that the irradiation has decreased the color of oil and less light. The result of the research illustrated the acid, TBARS and the iodine values when it took condition which were radiated and non-radiated in a storage period for about 12 months were below the limit of desirable, yet it is considered as the good oils to be used. This is the flowchart of research activities for the mixing of oil with other substances. First, 1 kg of peanuts were cleaned and undergo a heating process between a temperature of below 50 degrees Celsius for about an hour. Next, peanut beans will be pressed by oil press machine to extract the oil. The peanut beans that were too big were pressed again to get desired a size in order to extract the sample until all the sample pass through the lesser 50 micrometer test sieve. Next, the mixture of the solution will be then blended with 1% of butylated hydrozytolivin BHT and 6-20% of carbon black. The pigment need to be dispersed by Shahad Speed Dispenser and the diffusion of the pigment were done by Shahad Speed Dispenser. To increase the clotting of the ink, Benton 1 to 8 was combined to the ink in an amount of 0.5 to 2% of modified to modify the viscosity based on the needs to increase the brightness of the ink. The hydrate R can be added to the solution about 20% of it. Then, there were a measurement of viscosity and measurement of rub resistance and lastly, the sample characterization using GC17A Shimazu Chromatograph Everspec Spectrometer version 1. Based on the research, this is my findings. First, the ink itself has better rub resistance which does not give a smudging effect when the ink was used on a printed paper board. It does not show a lot of blemish which valued its capability to withstand a friction. Vegetable best ink has high potential of adhesion to substrate compared with petroleum based ink. This is the figures that are found for rub resistance of soy based ink from the GRA 634 Special Project Final Report Evaluation of Soy Based Ink. Since it can evaluate the properties of rep resistance for peanut oil. 
second, the figure show the rub resistance of traditional petroleum basting. As you can see, there were a different show in both of the ink. Second, the objective which want to study the physical and chemical properties of beans by Barrows M and Prudential SH has concluded that the beans with a small size with a lighter colors, higher level of proximate and mineral composition such as copper, ferrum, and potassium together with medium hardness after cooking, lower cooking time required, water absorption capacity, and the greater integrity after cooking were the good choice of beans that can be used for domestic and industrial use. The figure show the proximate composition of bean varieties from the research made by Marcio and Sandra Helena. Their research entitled Physical and Chemical Characteristics of Common Bean Varieties. Next, the objective the objective which want to study the effect of peanut oil during the pre and post condition after irradiation were portrayed by the peanut oil that shows the low level of desirable limits for the acid TBARS and the iodine values through the research. The study concluded that peanut oils were classified as the good oils to be used for the human need. This is the figure that, the figure that showed the effect of gamma radiation and storage period on biochemical properties of peanut oil. The source was from Mahfoud al-Bashir in 2015 with its research entitled Quality Characteristic of Oil Extracted from Gamma Irradiated Peanut. Through the research, it shows that peanut oil is suitable for the use of printing ink today. The ink made from peanut oil is an ink that were eco-friendly to the world. It provides a better colors when it was printed on a surfaces, has low rub resistance compared to petroleum-based ink, and this ink does not have higher volatile organic compound. That's all from me. Thank you.